Big four some players to look out for. you have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Nope. <laughs> and we are underway here. At Folsom High School, it's the Oak Ridge Trojans and the Folsom Bulldogs about to go at it. Two rivals, of course, 10 minutes apart from each other. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one here tonight. The number two ranked Oak Ridge Trojans coming into this one. At 15-4 and four, and the undefeated number one Folsom Bulldogs at 17-0. and oh, The whistle's blown. Jump ball. Here we go. And it is going to be Folsom to get the first possession. Here's Jackson at the top of the arc, gives it over. Now driving inside, almost knocked away by Oak Ridge. Back to Jackson up top, they're swinging it around. Here's Uriarte. Uriarte with 15 on the shot clock. She does one step and dribble, and she travels. So good defense by the Trojans to get this game started, and Tegan Brown will be the one to inbound to Jessica Crannell. Crannell's going to take it up the right side of the floor, defended tightly by Clement Hodge. Crannell crosses midcourt, looking for players. She's got Helwig, now dishes it inside to Ray. Ray's at the three-point line on the right side. Ray, excuse me, Brown, now at the top of the arc, gives it to Lauren Marsh. Marsh is going to drive inside, tries to draw, draw the contact, unsuccessful. Loose ball, Helwig with the offensive rebound, puts it back up, no good. Out of bounds, off of a Folsom defender, and it'll stay Oak Ridge ball with 26 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Crannell, the one inbound to Brown. Brown at the top of the three-point line. Drives inside to the left side. Puts it up. No good. A little short off the glass. And Folsom will take it away the other side. Michaela Jackson, the point guard, bringing it up. Folsom swinging it around. Clement Hodge for three. That one's a little left. No good. Ella Ray with the offensive rebound. Up floor to Helwig. Helwig goes right at the defender. Throws it up. Nothing going. And Folsom... With the offensive rebound. Now driving inside, Ava Rollins puts it up. That one's no good as well. So great defense by both teams to get this one started. And Jessica Crannell has the ball in her hands going up the right side of the court. Crannell going to the middle. Picks up her dribble. Now throws it up to Lauren Marsh at the top of the arc. Marsh puts her head in, drives inside, feeds it to Ella Ray, and it's stripped away. 
by Folsom's Ava Rollins. Rollins now coming back up the other side. To Jackson over to Clement Hodge. Back to Jackson. Now kicks it out to the corner. Three ball attempted by Uriarte. No good. And the rebound taken by Oak Ridge's Tegan Brown. However, she fumbled it and is called for a double dribble. So it's coming back and Folsom will inbound it under their own basket. So no points here to get things started. Two minutes without a basket. 6-10 left to go here in the first. And some great defense by both teams. That's how they're going to win this ballgame. Speaking of defense, Browns steals it from Michaela Jackson, who was the inbounder on that one. Now Cranell on the right side. Cranell gets it back. She attempts a three, and that one's no good. A little long off the back iron. Folsom with the rebound. Uriarte. Menderman now to Jackson. Jackson kicks it out to the corner. Clement Hodge. Clement Hodge going to try and drive in. Stripped away by Helwig, and Tegan Brown now has the ball. The defense has been remarkable here by both teams. And Ella Ray with a little short jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Michaela Jackson. Jackson gets the ball up top. Folsom moving it around the arc, looking for space. Rollins, now to Minderman, that one's short, and it's going to go out of bounds right by the Oak Ridge Vents. Whistles are blown, and 5.18 remain on the clock here in the first. Defense has been absolutely insane here to get things started. As Chelsea Ching will check in for Minderman. Ching, a 5'6 senior guard. And Cranel will inbound it to Brown. Now Cranel gets the ball back. It's a two on three. Cranel now overshoots Brown, and it's a loose ball in the backcourt. And it will be a backcourt violation. Helwig tried to go retrieve it, and Folsom will take over. So Rollins now with the ball. Over to the right side, Yuri Arte. Uriarte, about 10 feet from the three-point line, gives it to Clement Hodge inside. She attempts a mid-range shot, and that one is too strong. Defensive rebound taken by Ella Ray. Gave it to Brown, now gives it to Cranel. That one cannot go in. It spins out Ella Ray with the putback. Count it. The first points of the ball game come with four minutes and 46 seconds to go in the first. And Ella Ray has a chance for a three-point play. And Ray's three-point attempt is good. Or rather, the free throw is good to make it a three-point play. So the Trojans lead 3-0 here to start things. And that one is a mid-range shot by Jackson. No good. Folsom gets the offensive rebound. Jackson gets it back, drives inside, throws it up. No contact. And rebound taken by Lauren Marsh to the Trojans. Marsh driving up the floor, kicks it up to Cranell on the right side. Cranell fakes the three, now looking for a teammate, finds Helwig. Helwig comes around the corner, gives it to Brown. Now to LRA inside, one dribble, no good, leaves it short. And the rebound taken by Clement Hodge. Clement Hodge now coming up the right side, kicks it out to the corner, Ava Rollins. Rollins. Clement Hodge calling for the ball, instead he finds Jackson at the top of the arc. Now it's Uriarte. Came inside the three-point line, put it up, got her offensive rebound back, and draws a foul. She will be heading to the line, Ella Uriarte. So Uriarte, the 5'7 sophomore. First free throw is too strong off the rim. No good. So Folsom still has zero points here in this first quarter. And she nails the second. So Folsom with their first point of the game. 350 left here in the first. Tegan Brown now coming up the floor. It's a one on two. Brown puts it up. That one's no good. Ella Ray tried to come in and storm for the rebound. But Folsom takes it away the other way. Driving inside. Count it. Ava Rollins drives inside and scores. And she's going to the line. To attempt a three-point play. So we're all tied up at three now. 
and Rollins will try to make this one a one-point ball game and potentially give Folsom the lead here. Helwig comes out. Liv Jurgensen enters the ball game for the Trojans. Yuriarte exits. And coming in is Jada Tupo for Folsom. So it is a free throw violation. Jessica Crannell for the Oak Ridge Trojans will inbound it here. Trying to find an open teammate. Finds Ella Ray. Now gives it to Crannell. It's a three on two. Crannell kicks it out to Delaney in the right corner. Finds Tegan Brown on a cut inside, but it's intercepted by Clement Hodge. Takes it the other way. Puts it up to Po. No good. The layup. Clement Hodge gets it back, but Crannell takes it away. Still a 3-3 ball game with just a little over three minutes to go here in the first. Tegan Brown now. Left side of the floor. Gets it to Ella Ray. Crannell for three up top. No good. And rebound taken by Tupo for Folsom. Tupo all the way to the basket. And she banks it home. Jada Tupo with her first points of the game. And Folsom takes a 5-3 lead with 250 remaining in the first quarter. Liv Jurgensen now the point guard. Now Crannell on the right side of the floor. And a reach and foul will be called on Chelsea Ching. That'll be her first. Entering the ballgame for the Trojans, Brooke Williams for Ella Ray. Brooke Williams has been impressive so far on defense this year. So Lily Delaney now to Brooke Williams. Williams will spin, try to give it to Crannell, but it's taken away by Folsom. Clement Hodge and Jackson, the front, excuse me, the backcourt, bringing it up. In the far corner, Ching drives inside, makes a move off the glass, and good. Chelsea Ching makes it a 7-3 ball game here with a little over two minutes to go. Crannell now for Oak Ridge. Gives it to Brooke Williams. Williams puts it up, and it's good. A little feed from Jessica Crannell. Williams in the paint, able to get it to go. Fairly open shot, uncontested. And traveling now by Folsom. Ching got called for the travel, and Oak Ridge will inbound it under their own basket. So we are just under the two-minute mark here in the first 7-5 Folsom leads. And Tegan Brown, the Sacramento area star, has the ball in her hands. Defended tightly by Michaela Jackson of Folsom. Brown finally gets it across midcourt. Brown now trying to find space and create. Gives it to Brooke Williams inside. Williams puts it up a little short. And the defensive rebound taken by Sophia Minderman. Now Jackson, the near corner. Uriarte drives inside. Mid-range shot, no good. And that'll be a pushing foul, I believe, unless they call it out of bounds. Nope, it'll be out of bounds. No foul. And Oak Ridge will take over. Tupo tried to get the rebound there, but slipped. And ended up out of bounds as some substitutions are made. Clement Hodge coming out. Ava Rollins coming back in for Folsom. Helwig comes back in for the Trojans. Lily Delaney exits. Sophia Williams for Oak Ridge now into the ballgame as well. She has the ball trying to bring it up the court. Very good defense by Ava Rollins. Now Williams gets around to Rollins. Williams going all the way to the hoop. Draws the contact and she's going to the line for two. So Williams comes into the game, drives all the way to the hoop, and she earns herself a pair of free throws. Drains the first. So Oak Ridge coming off a very productive win against Whitney the other night. That was on Wednesday. Our TPSM sports broadcasting team was able to live stream that one for free on YouTube. And Sophia Williams is able to drain both from the line, and we're all tied up at 7 with 1.10 to go. 
Three-point attempt is an air ball. As Tupo tries to save it, it'll be rolled out of bounds. A three-point attempt attempted by Sophia Minderman. And Oak Ridge will take over. Now Brown gives it up floor to Helwig. Helwig th uh, slows down her dribble. And now up top, Sophia Williams on the right side. Williams brings it back to center. Helwig now. They're switching places. Brooke Williams hands it off to Tegan Brown, and that one's no good. A little left. Folsom with the rebound. Ava Rollins brings it up floor. Uriarte now back to Jackson up top. Jackson crosses over Helwig, kicks it out in the corner. Ava Rollins for three. That one's no good. And Tegan Brown with the rebound. It's a two on two. Brown and Helwig. Brown throws it up, draws the contact. So Tegan Brown will be going to the line. It's a 7-7 ball game here with 26 and change. Here to go in the first. Brown's first free throw off the back iron. No good. Sophia Minderman will come out of the ball game for Folsom. And Clement Hodge will come back in. Brown's second free throw is good. And Oak Ridge takes an 8-7 lead here with 26 seconds to go. Folsom will likely hold for the last shot. Michaela Jackson in no hurry. She's staying in the backcourt. All the defense at Folsom's hoop. 15 seconds now on the clock. Jackson yet to cross the midline. Jackson now with the logo. Trying to set up her offense. Jackson goes to the right side. Drives inside. Nice move all the way to the basket. Michaela Jackson scores with two seconds left. And Oak Ridge will not get a shot up. Michaela Jackson and the Folsom Bulldogs in the first quarter with a 9-8 advantage. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in here on Game Mike. Send this one to a quick game break, and we'll be back after this. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you nervous about getting on the Game Mike? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer says it right after you? Well, now's your time to shine. What about those aspiring journalists out there? Get out ahead and build up that resume. Game mic. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. So thanks everyone for tuning in here as the crowd yet to fill in tonight here in Folsom, California. It's number two Trojans, number one Bulldogs going at it. The two rivals here in the Sacramento area. And Oak Ridge will be the ones to get the ball here to start the second quarter. Sophia Williams makes a move on Tupo, drives to the basket. That one just cannot go. Now Tupo driving the right side of the floor all the way herself. Puts it up. Unsuccessful. Tegan Brown with the rebound. Brown slips. Jackson gets it back. And she misses the layup. Tupo, though, with the offensive rebound, puts it up, draws the contact, and she will be going to the strike. So Jada Tupo, a freshman, cleaning up the boards and earns herself a chance at the line. Tupo nails the first, nothing but net. Folsom up 10 to 8. Just getting started here in the second quarter. And a lane violation looks like for Folsom. Free throw was no good anyways. So Cranell will be the one to inbound. It's Cranell, Brown, Williams, Helwig, and Ella Ray in for Oak Ridge. For Folsom, it's Clement Hodge, Tupo, Minderman, rather not Minderman, Michaela Jackson, Rollins, 
and Uriarte. As Oakridge will go out of bounds at mid-floor. And Folsom will be the ones with the ball. Michaela Jackson at the logo. Folsom up 10 to 8, 720 on the clock. Jackson on the left side. Picks up her dribble now. A little bit of a long pass. Tupo able to get it back. Tupo with the three-point line. Try to get inside. Jessica Crannell, great defense here. Oak Ridge defending very tightly. A 10 on the shot clock. Clement Hodge tries to go inside. That one, no good. Great contest by Ella Ray Brown with the rebound. Up to Sophia Williams. Stripped away by Uriarte. Goes out of bounds. Oak Ridge will retain possession. So Crannell will inbound it. 24 on the shot clock. Nice pass inside to Tegan Brown. Banks at home. And one. So Brown. Very nice pass there by Crannell. Brown with a nice cut to the basket. Able to get it in and earn herself one at the line. See if she can knock it down here as we're all tied up at 10. And just rims out. Folsom. Storming up the floor. Here's Yuri Arte in the near corner. So I'm located on the sidelines nearest to the Oak Ridge bench. Folsom just on the other side. Jackson now. Stripped away by Williams. Taken away by Yuri Arte. Tens on the shot clock. Clement Hodge now. In the near corner, Jackson. Jackson faked out Helwig, but Helwig, it goes off the shoe of Clement Hodge, and Helwig got the... Got the ball. Now to Crannell. Up court. Mid-range shot. No good. And rebound by Folsom. Jackson up the floor on the right. Tried to feed it inside to Rollins. Could not get it there. And Oak Ridge back the other way. Tegan Brown with the ball. Nice move inside. Just no good. And looks like a push in the back by Folsom's Uriarte. And Oak Ridge will have another shot here. So 10-10, six minutes to go in the second. Very low-scoring ball game here. Matchup earlier this year, Folsom with their lowest offensive points of the year, only scored around 46 or so points. Still defending Oak Ridge, though, I believe it was 46-32, somewhere around there. Shot no good by Crannell. Folsom. With the ball, Clement Hodge for three on the left side. Just a little too strong. And Tegan Brown jumps up high, gets the rebound. Crannell, one man to beat. Drives inside, draws a contact, and puts it in. Jessica Crannell. Crannell gives the Trojans a 12-10 advantage. And she's got a chance at the line for another. So Brown with the strong rebound just threw it up court to Crannell. Drew the contact and scored. Crannell's free throw, too strong off the back iron. Rebound by Clement Hodge. And Minderman on the right side. Jackson intercepted by Brown. So Brown with another steal in this game. It'll go out of bounds off of Jackson and Brown. Will be the one. She will not inbound. Crown will inbound. Looking for Brown. Gives it to Sophia Williams. So 12-10 Oak Ridge. 5.25 to go in the second. Sophia Williams crosses midcourt. Ella Ray hands it off to Williams. Nice screen by Ray Williams. Shot goes behind the backboard. A little bit of a wild attempt there. And Jackson brings it up the floor for Folsom. Oak Ridge done a very nice job here in this ballgame defending Jackson. Ava Rollins, 5'11", freshman. Now on the near corner, tries to drive inside, finds Clement Hodge. Clement Hodge now comes out to the corner. Defended tightly by Abby Helwig. Nice cut by Jackson there. Tried to pull up for a mid-range shot, no good. Gets her offensive rebound. And taken away by Ella Ray. So Oak Ridge back the other way. Crannell with the ball on the far side. Gets it to Ella Ray. Williams, Helwig, Brown. Everyone touching the ball on this offensive possession. 15 on the shot clock. Brown now gives it to Ray. Tegan Brown with a little cut there. 
Finds Crannell in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Sophia Williams up top. Tucks and drives inside. Too strong off the back iron. And Folsom will go the other way. Now stolen by Abby Helwig. As Folsom tried to get it up floor with a little bit of an errant pass. Sophia Williams now to Helwig. Ray inside. Plenty of time on the clock. Oak Ridge still up two. Four minutes now. 15 on the shot clock. Tegan Brown backs her way into Jackson. Throws it up. Too strong. And Jackson now bringing it up for Folsom. Finds Clement Hodge inside. Clement Hodge drives to the basket. Nothing there. Too strong. Air balls the layup. So very interesting shots here from the Bulldogs. Cannot get anything to go. Just chucking it up, it looks like. Not playing their style so far here tonight. As Oak Ridge now with the ball. Ella Ray, 13 on the shot clock. Drove inside. Knocked away by Clement Hodge. And it'll stay Oak Ridge ball. And a timeout finally called here by the Bulldogs. 12 to 10 Oak Ridge. 323 on the clock. And the number four ranked team in California. Not producing so far here tonight. It's been a low-scoring ball game as we bring in our TPSM president, Luke Stewart. Luke, getting some photos for us tonight? I am. I'm working on the photography skills. I'm not very skilled at it, so I'm learning the settings of the camera, but it's good to be out here. It's good energy in here tonight. So we got the women's game going on right now. What have been your thoughts on this low-scoring ball game? Of course, we have the men's game later. Men's Oak Ridge team sitting right behind us with their headphones and earbuds in, prepping for tonight. Yeah, I think it's big right now, and the women's game is jumping in the pass lanes to steal the passes. That's been uh, pretty prominent tonight. So it's also been very physical, uh, good defense. So I think that's why it's only 10 to 12 as we approach halftime here. So both teams breaking out of their huddles here. Your quick timeout. 12-10, the current score. Oak Ridge up two. So Folsom number four in California, like I mentioned a moment ago. Oak Ridge not too far behind at 15. Number one, number two here in the San Joaquin section and two very well-respected teams here in the Sacramento area. Both teams at 4-0 and undefeated here in league play to start the year. Folsom with league wins against Del Oro, Rockland, Whitney, and Granite Bay. In that order as well. Oak Ridge with league wins against Rockland, Granite Bay, Del Oro, and Whitney this past Wednesday. Oak Ridge to inbound under their own basket. 10 on the shot clock. 3.20 to go on the game clock. Liv Jurgensen now. Can't get it to go at the basket. Tupo the other way for Folsom. And Cranell will be called for a foul there, I believe. Yes, it will be on Cranell for a little... A little bit of aggressiveness on the hands there. And I believe that's her first. Yes, it is. Crennel's first foul of the game. So Folsom with the ball. Play of time on the shot clock. Ava Rollins now on the wing. Rollins makes a nice cut inside. Can't get it to go with the basket. Scooped up by Tupo. Puts it up no good. And Brown and Crannell bring it back the other way for Oak Ridge. Aaron pass there by the Trojans and taken away by Chelsea Ching. Chelsea Ching with a little stop and pop. Mid-range shot, no good on the right post. And Oak Ridge now the other way. Williams travels in the backcourt. And Folsom breaking out of jail a little bit there. You know, to be quite honest here, Folsom lucky to be only down two. They have not played well so far here tonight. But credit Oak Ridge. They've had great defense here. They're known for their defense. And, of course, they can rely on their scoring from Jessica Crannell, Tegan Brown. Going to do their thing. Deep three ball. Air ball by Chelsea Ching. No good at the top of the arc. And that has pretty much been the definition of Folsom basketball tonight so far. Oak Ridge. Now intercepted by Folsom. Can't get it to go. It was Aaron Bright. And what are they going to call that? Oak Ridge bench very frustrated. Looks like they're going to call that foul on Sophia Williams. That's her first. It's going to be a shooting foul. 
and Jada Tupo will head to the line. Not too many folks happy about that one. Tupo's first free throw hits the front iron, but gets to the lucky bounce. And the second one too strong this time. 12-11, Oak Ridge still with the lead here with a little over two minutes to go. Cranell, the ball handler. Cranell drives inside, puts it up. Way too high off the glass, no good. And the rebound taken by Ava Rollins. Now Folsom in the corner is Bright. Bright for three, a little bit left and short, no good. Rebound taken by Tegan Brown. Brown on the left side, Brown. Makes a dribble. Nice cut to the basket. Tegan Brown banks it home. Brown with a nice drive inside and score. Now Folsom. Yoriarte throws it up, and that one's too strong off the glass. Brown with the rebound. 14-11 Oak Ridge. LRA inside. Tries to move the defender. Cannot do so. Gives it to Sophia Williams. Now to Brown. Back to Ray. Ray dribbles on the right post. A little bit out of the reach of Liv Jurgensen. Back to the top. Jurgensen back to Ray inside. Ray puts it up, draws the contact, and earns herself a chance at the line for two. So Ella Ray now will have two free throws to attempt. She nails the first. 15-11, Trojans are up. And Coach White is happy with what he's seen so far tonight. Ella Ray's second free throw, no good. A little bit left. Rebound taken by Aaron Bright, the 5'7 freshman. Michaela Jackson now with the ball, running the point. Jackson... Gives it to Rollins. Now in the corner is Bright. Back to Rollins up top. And Jackson finds herself with the ball. Rollins on the wing. Now inside Klimenhaj. Great defense by Folsom. Or by Oak Ridge, rather. Jackson for three up top. And she hits it. Michaela Jackson finally able to get something going here. And it's 15-14. Oak Ridge up one. Cranel up the other way. Blocked by Aaron Bright. Coach White showing his bench that he'd rather see his players try and draw a contact there, go for a fake instead of hucking it up right away. But Oak Ridge will be the ones to inbound. Cranel into LRA, her long arms, and traveling now by Oak Ridge. So Folsom catching a break here, and great block there by Aaron Bright. Jackson now. To Rollins on the wing. Cross court over to uh, Uriarte. Jackson, can she hit another three? Yes, she can. She's got it. Michaela Jackson gives Folsom a 17-15 advantage. Jackson back-to-back -back three pointers. 15 seconds left in the second. And Liv Jurgensen throws it out of bounds, trying to hit Cranel. Overshoots her. And Folsom will get the ball back with 17 or rather 12 seconds to go in the second quarter. Coach White calls a timeout and a little bit of a change of direction here by both teams. Oak Ridge is getting careless with the ball here in the last minute. Folsom locking down, doing their thing. Jackson hitting a couple threes. And we'll send this one to a quick 15 second game break. So Folsom's got 12.6 seconds here to do something, get a shot up. Jackson's going to be one that cross the logo. She's yet to do so. 
Defended by Jessica Crannell. Jackson crosses. Six seconds. Jackson drives on the left side. Whistles are blown with 4.6 to go. And it'll be a foul on Jessica Crannell. She had a foul to give there. And Abby Helwig will check back in for the Trojans. Coach White able to get that substitution. Crannell will exit. So Folsom, 4.6. Minderman. Now out of bounds, Tegan Brown with good hands there, and only .8 remain here in the second, so it's going to be a catch-and-shoot situation for the Bulldogs. Michaela Jackson going to be the one to inbound. And she's going to try and find an open teammate and chuck a shot up. She's got Clement Hodge. Can't get it up. Poor clock management there as Clement Hodge tried to get it back to Jackson, but they only have .8 on the clock. Anyways... Folsom will head into the locker rooms of a 17-15 lead. Thanks for joining in here on Game Mike. We'll be back in just a few minutes with a little TPSM rundown. And we got 10 minutes left here in halftime. We'll be back. Thanks for tuning in. 17-15 Bulldogs with the lead. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you nervous about getting on the Game Mike? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer says it right after you? Well, now's your time to shine. What about those aspiring journalists out there? Get out ahead and build up that resume. Game mic. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. 
action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Both teams made their way back from the locker room. And second half action coming up here in just a moment. Folsom will be the ones to inbound here to get things started. 17-15. The Bulldogs are up two after two back-to-back -back threes by Michaela Jackson to end the second or the first half. And now Jackson with the ball. And we're underway here in the third quarter. Jackson in the corner gives it to Rollins. Now at the top of the arc. Uriarte, Folsom swinging it around the perimeter. Minderman drives in, mid-range pull-up, no good, leaves it short. Brown with the rebound for the Trojans. Ray up floor now to Lauren. Lauren Marsh. And it'll be a foul on Michaela Jackson. That's her second. So Oak Ridge will be inbounding under their own basket. It'll be Cranel to inbound. Cranel to Ray at the top of the three-point line. Helwig now. Nice screen by Helwig. Brown trying to back away into Jackson. Spins off one foot, pivot, and scores. Tegan Brown with a nice move there. And we're all tied at 17. Jackson. Now Clement Hodge up top. Clement Hodge gets it back. Jackson now in the corner. Ava Rollins attempts the three-pointer. That one's an air ball. And Lauren Marsh with the rebound. Nice hands by Rollins, but it'll go out of bounds. Oak Ridge will get the ball back. So 17 to 17, 6.55 to go in the third. That one was taken away by Clement Hodge, and Ray came from behind and swatted it away out of bounds. So Folsom's Michaela Jackson will be the one to inbound up to Uriarte up top. Now in the corner, Jackson comes out, tries to hit another three. That one's a little bit right. Off the iron, Helwig trying to look for the ball as Brown got it up floor, out of bounds. Knocked away by Clement Hodge and Oak Ridge will inbound it right in front of the Oak Ridge bench. Brown the one to inbound, gives it to Ray on the corner. Hands it off to Brown on the right wing, closest to us. Brown, cross court to Cranel. Now finds Ella Ray, traveled. Clement Hodge defending her. And Folsom will take over. So both teams just getting back into the rhythm here. Jackson, of course, point guard for Folsom. Now to Minderman up top. In the corner is Ava Rollins. Trying to get by Lauren Marsh. Cannot do so. Great defense by both teams so far in this game. Trojans doing their job of keeping Michaela Jackson out of the paint for the most part. She's had a couple of nice drives. And, of course, the two threes to end the first half. That one's knocked out of bounds by Brown and Folsom will inbound. It'll be Clement Hodge. Clement Hodge, the junior. Very tall, lengthy junior. Now finds herself with the ball back to Minderman. Now 
Over to the other side is Jackson, brings it back to the top of the arc. 17 on the shot clock. Michaela Jackson finds Yoriarte inside. Yoriarte gets past Ray, but Ray says no. Ray with another block. But instead, that is going to be a foul on Ella Ray. I did not hear the whistle on that one. So Ray will be called for the foul, trying to block it away from Uriarte. And Ella Uriarte is at the line for two. She makes the first. And the second one, no good. Brown with the rebound, 18-17. Folsom with the lead, under six minutes to go in the third. Brown with the ball. She attempts her first three of the game. It's an air ball, very off. And Folsom will have the ball. So Clement Hodge at the top of the arc. Now to the right side, Uriarte. Rather Menderman over to Jackson in the corner. Three-point attempt is no good. And Cranel will be the one with the ball back the other way for the Trojans. Cranel directing traffic. Brown tries to come up for a screen. Can't do so, and it'll be a defensive foul on Folsom. It'll be on... Sophia Minderman, and that'll be her third of the contest. Cranel will inbound under the basket. Gives it up top to Tegan Brown. Now to Ella Ray. A little bit of a high pass. Gives it back to Ray, or back to Brown, rather. Couldn't get it to go with the basket. So Ray with a nice feed to Brown. Brown just unable to get it to go. Three-point attempt. No good from Clement Hodge. And it'll be out of bound or a jump ball, I think. Possession will be going in the favor of the Trojans. It's a little bit of scrappy basketball here to start in the second half. Brown all the way up floor to Lauren Marsh. Marsh, one dribble, no foul. Did they not call that a foul? Okay, they did. She'll be going to the line. Lauren Marsh. So long pass from Brown. Marsh had one girl to beat. She beat her with one dribble and flew on the floor and chucked the ball up at the hoop. Thought it was no call at first, but she will be at the line for two. She hits the first. Coming in for Folsom is Jada Tupo. Minderman comes out. And we're tied at 18 here at Folsom High School. Marsh, her second free throw, unsuccessful. Jackson and Tupo the other way for Folsom. Knocked away by Helwig. So Oak Ridge with the steal. Brown stops mid-range. A little long, no good. El Ray tried to storm in for the offensive rebound. Couldn't do so. And Tupo the other way for Folsom. Leaves it short. Great defense by Oak Ridge on the transition. Lauren Marsh fumbling the ball. Gets it back with two hands. Crannell at the logo. Brooke Williams about to check in for Oak Ridge. After this possession, 18 seconds on the shot clock. We're all tied at 18. 420 to go in the third. LRA, give and go to Cranel. Cranel inside, chucks it up, and draws the contact. Jessica Cranel heading to the strike for two. Cranel doing her part for this Trojan team here so far in this ballgame. And she hits the first free throw. Oak Ridge takes the 19-18 lead. Back in for Folsom is Chelsea Ching and Aaron Bright. Ava Rollins, Yoriarte coming out. Brooke Williams in now for LRA. And Jackson in the corner. Ching wide open, three uncontested. Can't get it to go. And Jessica Cranel, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Cranel goes on Ching, puts it up, and it's good. Jessica Cranel the other way for the Oak Ridge Trojans. 21-18. 
3.52 to go in the third and counting. Now Ching up top. Clement Hodge on the right wing. Clement Hodge, or rather Ching, attempts a long three. That one's no good. Good defense from Oak Ridge, and it'll go out of bounds off of Lauren Marsh. Folsom will inbound. So Jackson, the one to inbound, gives it to Ching. Ching goes inside, off the glass and in. Chelsea Ching with her first points of the second half. And Folsom down one. Brown defended very closely by Jada Tupo. Strips it away, crosses over Brown the other way, and banks it home. Oh, boy. Tupo doing it on both sides of the ball. Helwig attempts a long two off the back iron and no good. Tupo with the rebound. Now to Jackson, right side of the floor. Jackson cross court over to Clement Hodge for three. No good off the right. Guess who's there? It's Tupo for the offensive rebound. Gets it in, and Coach White will call a timeout for the Trojans. Folsom with a run there, and they'll be up 24-21 with 2.56 to go in the third. Man, Jada Tupo, both sides of the ball. Very impressive stuff there from the Folsom Bulldogs. We'll be back after a quick game break. We're live here on Game Mike at Folsom High School. Are you nervous about getting on the game mic? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you see... And we're back here at Folsom, 24-21, Bulldogs lead. And Oak Ridge will inbound after the timeout. So Tegan Brown brings up the ball on the right side. Swatted away by Jackson. She has a steal. One man to, or one woman to beat. It's Cranel. And Jackson puts it in. What a turn of events for the Trojan or for the Bulldogs as Brown almost loses it out of bounds. Tupo takes it away. Folsom with the ball. Inside, no good. Bright. Brooke Williams with the rebound for the Trojans. Tries to clear it. Gets it to Lauren Marsh. It'll be a foul on Folsom. So the foul will be on. Foul will be on Clement Hodge. That's her first. Ella Ray, Sophia Williams coming in for Oak Ridge. Brooke Williams, Lauren Marsh will exit. Jada Tupo, very impressive minutes for the Bulldogs will come out. Much needed break for Oak Ridge. As Uriarte comes back in. And now Sophia Williams with the ball for the Trojans. She's on the left wing. Ella Ray now trying to back her way into Clement Hodge, gets around the defender and puts it in Ella Ray. 26 23, Folsom with the lead. It's a three point ball game here with two minutes to go in the third. Jackson at the top of the arc. Ching on the right wing. Ching gets it back, open three, uncontested for the most part. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Jackson, and it'll be a foul on Tegan Brown. So Folsom will inbound. It'll be Jackson to Bright. Jackson in the corner for three. No good. And Jurgensen tried to save it for Oak Ridge. Folsom gets it back. Both the offensive defense set. Clement Hodge, three on the right side. Bang! Clement Hodge hits the three, and Folsom's up 29-23. Oak Ridge got to get back to what they were doing earlier, taking care of the ball, almost taken away by Uriarte of Folsom. Jurgensen drives to the basket, kicks it to Ray. Ray with a little short floater, hits it. Ella Ray. 
with a few points after coming back into this one. Jackson will bring the ball up. 29-25, Folsom with the advantage. Now three, Aaron Bright in the corner. Can't get it to go. Long rebound by Crannell. And Crannell will wait for the Folsom defenders to go by until she comes up the floor. Now kicks it out in the corner. Liv Jurgensen tried to give it back to Crannell. Stolen by Ching. And it'll be a double dribble, so the Trojans catch a break. And Helwig will come back in for Liv Jurgensen. So a much needed break there from Oak Ridge. It's 29-25. Only a four-point game here. Dan Cranel will know it'll be Brown to inbound. So Brown inbounds to Cranel. Cranel. Brown in the corner for three. Just a little long. Out of bounds off of Folsom. Wow. So the Trojans with another chance, and they'll be inbounding from under their own basket. Brown looking, looking, looking. Gives it to Cranel on the far corner. Cranel defended tightly by Rollins. Stripped away by Tupo and a foul on the open floor. We'll go against Oak Ridge's Sophia Williams. That will be her second. Folsom still up four. We're now 27 seconds away from the fourth quarter. Jackson. We, the ball handler, Folsom will be the last ones to get a shot off most likely. Jackson's in no hurry, just dribbling way back from the three-point line. Cran will be the one to defend. Ten seconds now. Here to go in the third. Folsom up four. Jackson with the ball, gives it to Tupo. Tupo now in the corner. Ching for three. To, and she hits it. Chelsea Ching to end the third quarter with a three-pointer. Gives Folsom a seven-point advantage. It's 32-25 heading into the fourth quarter. Turn of events as Folsom takes over in the third. Coach White, furious, slams his clipboard on the ground, talking to his team. And we'll be back after a game break. Folsom up seven as we head into the fourth. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you nervous about getting on the game mic? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer says it right after you? Well, now's your time to shine. What about those aspiring journalists out there? Get out ahead and build up that resume. Game mic. No experience needed, but it can be gained. So Folsom taking away with the lead here, up seven. It was their third quarter, that's for sure. Defense leading to offense. A couple steals. Tupo had a 5-0 run herself in the middle of the third. And impressive stuff from the Bulldogs, showing why they have potential here in the state of California, ranked as the number four team in the state. Jackson now. Folsom will be the ones to start. In the fourth corner, three is good by Ava Rollins. And Folsom now up 10. Crannell now for Oak Ridge. Crannell backs her way into Rollins. All the way, puts it up and in. Crannell with the friendly bounce. Oak Ridge down eight. 7.30 to go here in the fourth. Michaela Jackson, the ball handler. Sophia Williams defending. Crannell now on Jackson. Jackson splits the defenders, puts it up, and good. 
Timeout by Folsom. Very quick timeout. And they're up 10, 7-17 to go in the fourth. So our TPSM sports broadcasting team live streaming a bunch of events around Oak Ridge High School. You can follow at Trojan Pride 80 on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook to keep up with all the live streams going on around campus. And of course, we're doing Game Mic tonight here at Folsom on the road. Also be live on Game Mic next week. Men's Soccer Senior Night on Thursday. And of course, all of the basketball broadcasts will be live for free on YouTube and right here for free on Game Mic. Also streaming Alpine Ski and Snowboarding at Kirkwood on Monday, January 31st. That'll be a live stream on YouTube. So a bunch of fun broadcasts going on here at Oak Ridge as Folsom up 10 here with a little over seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. So Oak Ridge will be the ones to inbound here after the timeout. Cranel to Sophia Williams. Williams will cross midcourt. Now to Helwig up top. It'll be a travel by Helwig. Cannot do that. Cannot afford travel here in the fourth as Coach White unhappy with the play as of late with his Trojan ball club. Now Folsom. Clement Hodge will attempt a long two. That one's good. Folsom up 12. And the Folsom student section is hot as Coach White calls a timeout. Back-to-back -back timeouts here. 6.53 to go in the fourth. Folsom up 12. They're pulling away. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you nervous about getting on the Game Mike? That's okay, it's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer says it right after you? Well, now's your time to shine. What about those aspiring journalists out there? Get out ahead and build up that resume. Game Mike, no experience needed, but it can be gained. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so the people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. G Sorry about that, folks. Click the wrong button. Anyways, we're back here at Folsom. And the Bulldogs still up 12, 39, 27. As Jackson, in no hurry, will be the ball handler. 6.17 to go here in the fourth. Jackson. Back to Rollins on the right wing. Gets it inside to Tupo. Cranel puts her hands on the ball. It'll be a jump ball. And I think it will stay Folsom ball. Ball. 
refs talking to each other here. It'll be going in the favor of the Trojans. So nice job by Crannell to come attack that basketball. And it'll be going Oak Ridge direction with 6.08 here to go in the fourth quarter. So Sophia Williams sprinting up the right side of the floor and draws the contact. Can't get it to go, but she'll earn herself a pair of free throws at the line. She'll try and make it a 10-point ball game here. I'm going to bring Luke back in. You know, Luke Folsom really took charge there in the third. How's Oak Ridge going to try and climb back into this one? You know, I don't think it that it's that, that Oak Ridge was playing too bad. I think no. that Folsom is definitely hitting their shots. That, that three ball was falling, especially for um, Michaela Jackson. So I think the Trojans still can battle back here. You know, 12 points with six minutes is definitely doable. So let's see some underclassmen stepping up. You know, we have three underclassmen on the court right now, along with the two commits. So I think it's definitely possible. We'll see if it can happen. Both free throws no good from Williams. Folsom the other way. Clement Hodge for three, two, strong, and off to the right. It'll be out of bounds. Oak Ridge will take over. Time's crunching. Oak Ridge down 12. Still manageable to climb back into this one. Liv Jurgensen with the ball. Now to Tegan Brown. Gives it back to Jurgensen. Jurgensen now. Drives inside, contested by Ava Rollins. Jurgensen falls on her back, and it'll stay Oak Ridge ball. So Cranel to inbound. Long up top to Jurgensen. Jurgensen now comes back the other direction. Cranel, the right wing. Gives it inside to Brown, and she banks it home. Tegan Brown. With her ninth point of the game. And taken away by Cranel. I believe it went off the shoe of Cranel. It did. And Folsom will regain possession. 5.22 to go in the fourth. Folsom still up 10. No hurry is the Bulldog offense. 25 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Jackson now to Rollins for three. No good. And Jurgensen with the rebound. Cranel, the ball handler. Cranel coming up the right side. Changes direction and puts it in. Jessica Cranel having herself a night. Jackson, the ball handler for the Bulldogs. They're up eight. 4.45 to go in the fourth. Jackson. Top of the arc. Now to the right side. Still with possession of the ball. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Feeds it to Rollins. Now back up to Clement Hodge. She goes over to the left side. Drives inside. No good with three seconds on the shot clock. And Oak Ridge with the rebound. Almost stripped away by Jackson. Back the other way off the hands of Cranel. Oh, my goodness. A tough break there for Oak Ridge. Chelsea Ching now brings it up the floor. Rollins on the left side, now backs away, no hurry, she'll waste clock. 4.07 and counting here in the fourth. Bulldogs up 39-31. Clement Hodge, one dribble, three ball short, into the right, no good. That was with six seconds remaining on the shot clock. Cranel now feeds it inside to Ella Ray. Ella Ray gets around, Clement Hodge draws the contact, and she'll go to the stripe. So Oak Ridge doing what you have to do here, being down by eight or so, 3.46 to go here in the fourth. Trying to score with the clock stopped, and that's been the goal here for the Trojans. Ella Ray at the line. Ray hits the first. It's a 39-32 ball game. And coming back in for Folsom is Ella Uriarte, Sophia Menderman. Tupo comes out, and Chelsea Ching, both very productive bench players here in this one. Ray hits the second free throw, and Oak Ridge now down 39-33. It's a six-point ball game. They've climbed their way back into this one a little bit. Jackson 
Over to Minderman on the right, now in the corner, Rollins. Try to go inside, nice contest by Jurgensen. Now up top, Jackson drives inside the left side, gets around LRA, almost tried to go up and under, instead kicked the back out, out of bounds, and Oak Ridge will be taking control. Defense has been the key here for Oak Ridge, and of course, trying to score with the clock stopped. Cranel will be the one to inbound. Gives it to Tegan Brown. She's got one man to beat. It's Jackson. Jackson with nice defense. Trips it away. It'll be out of bounds. Oak Ridge remain with the ball. But, man, Michaela Jackson, a warrior here on both sides of the ball. Jessica Cranel, the one to inbound. Tried to give it to Brown. Stripped away by Jackson. Now up floor. Minderman. She's got one man to beat. It's Sophia Williams and Minderman. With a kiss off the glass and good. So Oak Ridge down eight now after being down by six. They had a chance. And now Jessica Cranel travels. Coach White will call a timeout. Man, Oak Ridge just, oh my goodness. Clawing their way back into this one. They do so. They get within six. And then Folsom does their thing. Jackson with incredible defense. And the travel by Cranel. Coach White takes a timeout. 3.03 to go in the fourth. Folsom up 41-33. We'll send this to a, kick, a quick game break. And we'll be back after this. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Both teams coming out of the timeout now. Three minutes to go here in the fourth. Folsom up 841 to 33. Jackson in no hurry. She's at the logo. Minderman slips on the ground, gets back up. Jackson on the right side now. Spins around, gets around Sophia Williams. Puts it up. No good. Rebound taken by Ella Ray. 240 to go. Oak Ridge down eight. We'll see if they can produce here. Cranel now to Ella Ray. Ray loses it out of bounds. And Oak Ridge cannot catch a break here in the latest part of the fourth. Jackson in the backcourt with the ball. 2.25 to go in the fourth. Folsom up eight. Clement Hodge with a mid-range shot off the glass. No good. A little strong. And Tegan Brown with the rebound. Oak Ridge has got to make a move here. Tegan Brown crosses midcourt, gives it to Ray. Now the feed back to Brown. Brown drives inside, draws the contact, and she'll go to the line. So Tegan Brown with 207 left in the fourth will earn herself an opportunity at the free throw line. Try and make it a six-point ball game. Folsom. Done a solid job at containing Brown tonight to nine points. Now 10 as she trains the first free throw. Michaela Jackson, the leading scorer for the Bulldogs with 12. Brown, second free throw upcoming, and it's good. So it's a six-point ball game here. Jackson will bring it up the floor for Folsom. She's got the red shoes on. Jackson on the right side to Minderman. Minderman will fake the three. Drive inside instead. Rejected by Ella Ray. Ella Ray with a great block. Folsom will inbound from under their own basket. 155 to go in the fourth. 19 on the shot clock. Minderman up top for Folsom. Knocked away by Brown. No, it'll be off Folsom's Clement Hodge. Brown with the contest, and Oak Ridge will get the ball back here. They're down six. 
150 to go. Liv Jurgensen, it's a one on two. She takes it home. Liv Jurgensen scores. Oak Ridge down four. It's 41 37 with 138 to go in the fourth. It's going to come down to defense, and there's defense right there. Sophia Williams takes it away. Tegan Brown with the ball, guarded tightly by Jackson, kicks it back up to Williams. Around the perimeter, cradle for three. No good, a little bit left. And Jackson storms up and grabs the rebound, almost loses it out of bounds, but she will bring it up slowly. 41-37, the score remains here with a little over a minute to go. Jackson on the right side. Sophia Williams, the defender. Great defense by the Trojans, and the Bulldogs will take a timeout. Oak Ridge just fighting their way in this one. Jackson, huge rebound there. 107 to go in the fourth. Folsom up four. Stay tuned. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mic. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mic. So both teams coming out of the timeout now. Oak Ridge going on a little bit of a run. With great defense. Tegan Brown went to the basket. Crandall just missed the three there on the perimeter. And we've got 1.07 remaining here in the fourth. Michaela Jackson, the ball handler. Folsom up four. 41-37. Jackson on the right side. Tegan Brown, the defender. It's Jackson and Brown going at it. Top two players here in Sacramento area with one second on the shot clock. Jackson air balls. Shot clock violation. Oak Ridge will get the ball back with 52.9 seconds in the fourth. Crandall will inbound. Minderman comes out. Tupo back into the ball game. Now Sophia Williams with the ball. Crandall will bring it up the floor. Crandall to Jurgensen. Jurgensen now. 43 seconds remaining in the ball game. Ella Ray stolen by Ava Rollins. Michaela Jackson with the ball. 32 seconds. Folsom up four. And a foul on the open floor by Sophia Williams. So Rollins will inbound for the Bulldogs. Folsom up four, 41-37. 31 seconds to go, and there'll be a timeout called. So we'll take another game break. And guess what? We got more basketball coming your way. The men's Folsom and Oak Ridge teams going at it here at 7 o'clock. That'll be coming up next. Be probably more like a 7.20 start. But we are not done tonight here on Game Mike. We got another one coming your way shortly. After the conclusion of this one, pull some up for. Are you nervous about getting on the game mic? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer says it right after you? Well, now's your time to shine. What about those aspiring journalists out there? Get out ahead and build up that resume. Game Mike, no experience needed, but it can be gained. So 31.3 seconds to go here in the fourth. The Bulldogs are up four. Coach White getting his defense set up. Rollins going to inbound it at midcourt. Only five team fouls for Oak Ridge here in the second half, doing a very nice job of containing. And they've got five, so they got two to give. 
Once you get to seven, it's a one and one. And here we go. Rollins will inbound. Finds Jackson in the backcourt. Jackson defended by Williams. Sophia Williams will foul. They had one to use. And that'll be her fourth. So Sophia Williams now with one more foul to go till she is out of the ballgame. Jackson now the one to inbound. And tipped away by Oak Ridge, but Ching will get the ball. 27 seconds as Jurgensen will foul for the Trojans. And I believe Chelsea Ching will be going to the line. Yes, she will. Tupo and Minderman will come into the game after this first free thrower at the next whistle. So Ching at the line. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Ching's free throw no good. Rebound by uh, Tegan Brown. 24 seconds. Oak Ridge down four. Brown, the ball handler, gives it to Crannell. Now to Sophia Williams in the corner. No good. Little left off the rim. And out of bounds. Folsom will take over. Just missed shots from beyond the arc. Continue to fall. Or do not continue to fall here for Oak Ridge here in the second half. But they have been driving through the basket, drawing contact, getting to the line as Jackson inbounded it to Uriarte, and she'll be going to the line. Folsom up for 13.6 to go. Sophia Williams gets a nice ovation coming out of the game. Lily Delaney in for the Trojans, and Uriarte is at the line. Uriarte hits the first. Folsom takes a five-point advantage. And the second one's no good. Rebound by Brown. Ten seconds now. They get it up court. Ella Ray will attempt a three. No good. Folsom will take over. And that'll do it here at Folsom High School. The Bulldogs will take Home the W, 42-37 is your final score. This women's varsity rivalry. The number one Bulldogs do their thing and beat the Trojans by five. Very impressed by this Oak Ridge team tonight, the way they came in here. They gave it their all. Folsom just able to hit a couple more threes than Oak Ridge. Their shots were falling here in the second half. That's all it comes down to in this game of basketball. And the Bulldogs with the five-point win. Folks, we're going to end this broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Nico Horning as part of Oak Ridge's Trojan Pride Sports Marketing Sports Broadcasting Team. We'll be live in just a couple of moments for the men's basketball game. It'll be Oak Ridge and Folsom once again. So stay tuned. We're going to exit this one. You can go click on the other one that starts at 7 o'clock, and let's go have some fun. Thanks again, Nico Horning. We're moving on to the next broadcast here on Game Mike.